So that's a procedure, and I find if you just do it, and you do it over and over again, it's going to become second nature. And when you're finished, it's going to look something like this. If I can get it back enough. I also try to stay with black. It'll look something like this. Um, and gate. It's going to be a tag and the associated alias is the square box. Then it's going to go into something called a TON. We'll find out that's a timer. And then you're going to have a local variable there. And then you're going to have another tag name. So when you're finished, you're, it's going to look like this, and then we're going to take it down to that's what you're going to write um, here, and then when you get to the emulator, you're going to see the pretty colors. Anybody know what the pretty colors are? Yeah, there you go. So um, that's what I want you to get to. So it's going to look at you because you're going to see the difference between the source code, which is what you write, and when you get to here, that's when you're testing the thing and forcing the points and, and pretty colors are associated with just Boolean variables. So. Get through that. So ask your neighbor, ask me. Uh, there's a couple questions to ask you begin when you create a project. It tells you a name. When you get to the platform, um, good idea to say MP3008, I think it is. MP3008. And I think the processor might be uh, version um, 10.5. Yeah, See, some of these things um, you won't do outside the classroom. I mean, you have to do it because of the one-time things. It'll be the same thing in the project. You know, but I want you to see that you saw it here, did it here. And that's kind of what I want you to get out of the class is, oh, I know where I want to focus. You know, I know where I want to focus. Like set up parameters. You may not do outside the class, but you may do that in the project. Um, um, so uh, you know, this is the way I want you to do it is to write these simple programs. We'll do it repetitively, repetitively, different types of logic. And then we're really going to enjoy this. But that's I'm afraid we have to insist. Okay, ask questions anytime. Ask your neighbor anytime. It's open book, open notes, and um, I understand how the and logic works. Pardon? I, I know how the and logic yeah, works, yeah. but what is the TO? Ah, well, it's a timer. So at this point, what I want you to do, the objective is for you to um, is to navigate. So I don't care if you know what a PLC is or not, but I want to navigate, and then I want to show you answer those questions. And in fact, I want to show you how I know this is a timer. Because we're not only in this class, but you, you'll find that, uh, how do I know it's a timer? Uh, I'll show you the help methods, and I'll show you, we'll burrow into the code a little bit more. So a timer on, and how it works, and things like that, that's, that's what I want to go over. My first thing is navigation.